We're here at the National Organic Beef Open Day and I'm speaking with Muno Prasad, compost researcher from the University of Limerick. Muno, first of all, could you tell us a little bit about compost? Yeah, yeah composting is an aerobic process that, that means that it needs oxygen and the final product you change into a very stable organic matter. So unstable organic matter is changed into very stable organic matter and that's what we call compost. And could you tell us then maybe about some of the things that might affect the quality of the compost produced? Yeah, the quality of the compost, uh, to start with, uh, composting is not just putting some material and putting it into a windrow. I think it, it needs certain parameters that are absolutely useful. For instance, the carbon-nitrogen ratio is very important. Normally, cattle manure would have too much nitrogen, so you need to add a carbon source, which is like wood wood chips and things like that. The other um, important thing is that the particle size is very important, that you don't have it very coarse or very fine. If you have it too coarse, the piles won't heat up. If it is too fine, you get very anaerobic conditions. Also, the moisture content is very important. And also, regular turning is important because it's an aerobic process. You need to add oxygen in the material, so therefore, you need the regular turning. And could you tell us then maybe why people might consider composting manure? Yeah, the, the composting manure, there are a lot of advantages in composting the manure. Because uh, what happens is that when you compost it, you make the nitrogen release as a slow release nitrogen, which is, we know that for clover, it does not need a whole lot of nitrogen. You need a slow release nitrogen. So you supply nitrogen in a very slow release form. The other thing that you have is that uh, it is free from pathogens and parasites. So it is a very good material. The other advantage is that you also supply potassium and uh, phosphorus. The other advantage is that you stabilize the organic material. So when you add it to the soil, the organic matter will stay in the soil for a much longer period. So what you are doing is uh, what is known as carbon sequestration. So if you put the manure out in the field, it will disappear very quickly. But if you have stabilized the organic matter, it will last for a very long time. And finally, there is a potential for product development. For instance, uh, uh, you know, the organic vegetable growers, they're really crying out for organic fertilizer and they're importing it from places like Holland. And if there's surplus, uh, uh, or, you know, cattle manure compost, uh, it could be sold for that as well. And in America, they also use it for, believe it or not, for animal bedding and the composted manure because it is so free of pathogens. That's great. Thanks, Muno.